For story time, we're going to read Not a Buzz to be Found, Insects in Winter, written by Linda, illustrated by Jamie. Based on the title of the story, Not a Buzz to be Found, and looking at the picture of the cover, we can make a guess or a prediction of what we think this story is going to be about. What do you think this story is going to be about? Take a look at the picture. Remember, the title is Not a Buzz to be Found, Insects in Winter. Before we get started, take a few seconds to predict or guess what you think this story is going to be about. In summer, insects are all around, zipping, buzzing, zooming everywhere. But in winter, poof, they are all gone. Not a zip or a buzz or a zoom anywhere. Where do insects go when it's icy and cold? What do they do to survive? If you were a little insect, what would you do to stay alive? If you were a monarch butterfly, you'd take an amazing flight. You'd fly thousands of miles migrating south where it doesn't freeze. There you join millions of monarchs all gathered together in trees. What if you were a woolly bear caterpillar? You'd hide under a blanket of snow or leaves. Someday you'd turn into a moth with wings. But in winter, you'd curl up and sleep, sleep, sleep. If you look closely underneath the leaves, you will see the brown woolly caterpillars. How many brown woolly caterpillars do you see? Count them. If you were a ladybird beetle, you'd hide under logs or leaves and huddle with thousands of others. You'd barely move or breathe. Just like the woolly caterpillar, the ladybird beetle also hides under leaves during the cold winter months. What if you were a honeybee? You'd eat the sweet honey in your hive and huddle with all the other honeybees. You'd all stay warm together, each taking turns in the warmest spot, the center. Can you find the center, the middle of the honeybee hive? If you were a morning cloak butterfly, you'd hide under the bark of a tree and go into a deep, deep sleep. But you wouldn't freeze. Why not? You'd have something inside you like an antifreeze. Something inside of the body 
that helps protect it from freezing. What if you were a praying mantis? You'd still be an egg in a small egg case with hundreds of others waiting to hatch. All winter long, you'd stay snug and safe. If you were a common pond hawk dragonfly, you'd still be a baby nymph without wings. You'd look like a small water bug and live in a pond way down in the mud. Look closely in the mud. If you were an ant in winter, you'd stay underground in your nest with the other ants in your colony. Safe from the cold, you'd all just rest. If you were a gall fly in winter, you'd still be a baby living in a gull. You'd chew a little opening to get out in the spring, but all winter you'd stay in that small round ball. What if you were a field cricket? You'd still be a tiny egg that mother cricket laid. All winter long you'd stay in the earth Safely hidden, you'd wait and wait. If you were a bald-faced hornet queen, you'd crawl into a rotting log and hide. You'd stay fast asleep all winter with your baby eggs safe inside you. If you were a black swallowtail butterfly, you'd still be a caterpillar without any wings. Inside your chrysalis, safely hidden, you'd sleep all winter, just waiting for spring. Then slowly, slowly the air grows warmer, and just as slowly the days grow longer, you feel a change in the air, and so do insects everywhere. Some wake up, some hatch. Some fly north, some grow wings. It's time to zip and buzz and fly. Winter is over. At last, it's spring. The end. Let's take a look at a few comprehension questions. Comprehension questions. What is this book about? Where do insects go in winter?